if you have a hard time understanding something, it'll be almost the same as if you couldn't see. And why do I say that? Just recently, my husband was um, trying to do something and while he held this huge piece of machinery, he said to me, run to the shop, get me a tool I need, and he described it to me. And I knew as he described it that I didn't understand anything he said. But as obedient as I am, I ran to the shop, very concerned that I was leaving him behind in a situation where I didn't even know if I was gonna give him or be able to help him with what he needed. So I run to the shop, I don't understand what I'm looking for. I'm trying to remember what he said. I still know I don't understand. I'm looking in the same area he tells me to look and I'm looking and looking and looking. And yes, you know, I couldn't find it. Even though he later showed me it was right in front of me. So because I didn't understand, it was the same as if I couldn't see. And because I couldn't see, I couldn't help him with what he needed. Why am I talking about that? Because today we are going to face illnesses and if we do not understand why they are present, it'll be the same as if we couldn't see. And if we can't see, it'll be the same as if we can't help the person who's experiencing it. So now I can't help my mom, I can't help my dad, I can't help my kids, I can't help myself because I don't understand why the illness is present. And so it's like if I couldn't see, so I'm going to address it incorrectly. Why are we talking about that? Because today, with the increase of anxiety that is present because of the coronavirus, a lot of people, everyone, is the most stressed and anxious that they've ever been in their lives. And one of the things we're going to find in terms of illnesses that becomes present in, in an increased amount is urinary tract infections, urinary problems, urinary issues urinary infections that can be present in different ways, um, you know, painful uh, moment when you go to urinate, um, just anything urinary, uh, kidney, kidney stones, we're gonna have an increase on that. We're gonna have an increase on um, respiratory issues. And not just because the virus tends to attack that, but because we are going to be um, having that type of illness and weakness in the respiratory system, which makes it easier for us to get anything. And we're gonna have skin issues. So people are gonna be complaining of, why do I have this rash? Uh, what is it? I didn't eat anything different. I didn't put anything on my body. I don't understand. Again, if you don't understand, it's like a person who can't see. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to get to help yourself or to help, or to help others. So why are these illnesses going to be increasing? because the stress is going to cause them. Why would stress cost them? Because there is a very huge link between our physical health and our emotional health. So if I am stressed and anxious, which I am because of everything that's going on, it is going to affect my organs. Why in specific my respiratory organs, my urinary system, my skin, why? My urinary system, because I am fearful. One of the greatest things now, if you're a father, if you're a dad, if you're a husband, if you're a wife, is how am I going to um, protect my children, help my family, provide for them? I have, you know, all these question marks in my mind about what is going to happen in the future. And so the increase of, of not knowing, of the unknowing, uh, is going to create, create fear. And fear is going to affect your kidneys. Now, you've seen it in movies when they mock little kids when they are afraid and they pee themselves or adults when they all of a sudden wet themselves because something happened that scared them. There is a link between being scared, between fear and your kidneys. So we are going to see an increase on that. We're also going to see an increase even at a bladder cons uh, area because people have a hard time forgiving themselves in this time. And, and why are we even talking about forgiving ourselves? There's a lot of loss that is happening. People, um, I was talking to a couple of friends who had to hurry up and get married through Zoom because everything that they planned to do didn't happen. So a loss of a perfect wedding, a loss of a graduation. Um, I couldn't walk down the aisle. Um, I couldn't get the recognition I was going to get. 
um, I was going to have this great party to celebrate uh, this big thing in my life and, and I had to cancel it. Um, I was going to go to this dream vacation and I had bought the tickets and everything and even though they gave me my money back, it's the idea that I lost out on it. Those are all losses people are experiencing. But when compared to the losses other people are having, such as, I literally lost someone to coronavirus. Wow, can you beat that? I mean, that tugs at your heart even worse. So if you lost your dream wedding, your dream vacation, your dream celebration, and you're looking at someone else in the news that lost their loved one, you know what you're gonna do to yourself? You're gonna tell yourself, why on earth am I beating myself over something that should be nothing compared to that person? And so now you're going to go on a guilt trip about yourself. I can't forgive myself for feeling this way. I feel it anyway. It's a loss for me, so I'm feeling it. And so now I'm beating myself. And because of that, not being able to forgive, unforgiving others or yourself will affect your bladder. So now, you understand there's a link between all these illnesses because of what we're going through. Now, speaking of losses, just like fear is carried in the kidneys, loss is carried in our lungs. And so now, all these losses we just talked about, losses of events and things that were supposed to take place, or losses of human life, all that is going to weaken our respiratory system and make us prone to respiratory issues. And when I talked about skin issues, skin is considered our third kidney. So everything that affects our kidneys, fear can also be presented as a skin problem. So when I'm beginning with rashes or things I don't understand, I didn't eat anything different, I didn't wash my clothes anything di any way different, I didn't use a new thing or a new product, or I don't understand why this is happening, a lot of it will have to do with the fact that you are fearful. When you understand that there is a link between what you are emotionally experiencing and what you're physically having, then you are more prepared because now you can see. You are more prepared to help others whom you love or yourself. Because now you say, okay, since this is not just something that needs antibiotics, but it's actually something with an underlying tone of something emotional, how do I address emotional health? And that's where Soul Naturals is going to be so amazing. If there was a need for soul before, there is a greater need today. Because this is a product line that helps address not just the physical imbalance, but also the emotional imbalance. And there's a huge link with both of them right now. So if you'd like information and orientation as to what program you can get on so that you yourself can see how beautifully this product comes in and helps you emotionally and physically, please talk to the person who gave you this video. If you happen to just find this video, please leave me a message and I will definitely reply to your comment or to your question. I would love to be somebody who in the future says, hey, Soul Naturals, and everyone says, oh, I know what that is. I'd love Soul to be a household name because I have seen how beautifully it works with so many health imbalances. After 30 years of working and helping others regain control of their health, these last six, five, six years with Soul have been incomparable with the beauty that I have seen in people getting what they want in terms of better health, um, a more stable emotional life, uh, mentally, emotionally, physically. So please, with me or with the person who gave you the video, reach out and we'd love to help you understand how soul can help you. If you've come across this video on your own or it's been recommended to you and you like what you've heard, please subscribe to my channel so that you can be made aware uh, in advance of the new videos that I post. And again, let's all help each other to do what we should all be doing short of a surgery that we need, where we will need a good surgeon on hand, when it comes to health, we should all be taking control of our own health. And we can, but we just need the tools and the understanding to be able to do so. So this channel is designed to help you get those tools and regain control of your health, because no one will take better care of you 
than you. So instead of being blind and not under, because you don't understand the link between illnesses and what's going on around you today, now you get a little bit more understanding and now you can see a little bit better and I hope this helps you to make wiser choices.